What's up? I'm Johanna with InsideEdition.com, and we're about to go to a haunted house. Gonna meet some ghosts, learn some history, all that good stuff. Got some cameras. It's gonna be exciting. And from what I understand, it's more of like a historical place, except at night, they do these ghost tours. Nick, are you scared? What's going on? A little bit. And we are currently on our way to the Morris Jamel Mansion in Washington Heights. Getting kind of nervous. We're on the subway right now and we're on our way to the house, which is a bit of a historical society. But what I understand is at night, the ghosts come out and play. So we just got out of the subway. We're at 163rd Street. We gotta walk a couple blocks and then there we go. Mount Terrace, we're almost here. Jahan, are you uh, are you nervous? I don't know if I, I don't know if nervous is the right word. I think I'm just excited to see what's gonna happen. I'm a bit of a skeptic. I don't I don't know that we're gonna see anything, but I guess I'll keep my mind open and see what happens. Welcome, right to spare. with Vinny of the Gotham Paranormal Research Society and his team. We are a research society that goes through all the tri-state area investigating claims of paranormal activity. How did you guys get into this? How did you guys find out about this and what drew you in? Ever since I was a child, I would experience strange things. To me, they were normal, and, and I didn't realize that they were not normal until as I got older and started to hear from other people that they were having the same type of things happen to them. Really very skeptical. I always thought they were a lot of it was staged. But as you do this, the more you do it, you come across things you can't explain. And I'm actually the public programming and events manager here at the Morshmill Mansion. I was always fascinated with uh, scary things and like conspiracy theories and stuff like that. So this is the Morris Jamel Mansion. It is Manhattan's oldest surviving house. It's built in 1765, and the original property would have been what's now the equivalent of 40 city blocks and river to river, to give you an idea of the magnitude of this land. Take a look, you see this painting right here? That's Eliza Jamel. If you notice, the, the couch that she's sitting in is this couch right here. Oh, yeah. paranormal activity has been around this, surrounded this house. We actually have, you know, claims that the Eliza Jamel herself was saying, was saying that the house was haunted when she moves in. She's saying that she's hearing things, seeing things, and then when she passes away, her family claims to see her and hear her up in, a, in our, her bedroom. In January 1962 is when our most famous ghost sighting uh, took place here, just outside on the slate by the front door. So we're gonna check out some of the most active rooms in the house. We're going to do the dining room, then we're gonna head upstairs to where all the bedrooms are, check out Aaron Burr's room, and then finish in the basement in the colonial kitchen.